Very good, Javier. How are you, buddy? Excellent, thank you. So we're here with James, who is like, uh, we can say like, in a way, the father of the new <laughs> Honda Pilot, right? A like, uh, product manager for this uh, new product from Honda, right? Absolutely. Completely different car from the one going out. I mean, right. it's like everything, it's new in it. In it. Uh, we can say like from the structure that up. Everything ground up on this vehicle is pretty much entirely new from the outgoing model. So let's go ahead and drive a little bit and we can talk about it. So the, the style is completely different. Why, why was that? Uh, well, what we heard overall was customers wanted a more traditional, more sophisticated appearance in their vehicle without compromising that of the utility, which uh, the Honda Pilot's always done very well. Uh, so new styling, new sophisticated uh, design, interior and exterior, give it a nice sleek look. The interior remains the same in a way because uh -huh. it's like very, very big. I mean, yeah. it has three rows, yep. but also that, that has changed a lot in, in different ways. Yeah, interior changed a lot. Uh, throughout the cabin, we put nice touch points all the way throughout. Uh, we're driving an Elite model here, so uh, for this interior, you get uh, standard captain's chairs, which is a seven passenger configuration. So, removing the second row bench and adding uh, the two captain's chairs in uh, gets better access to the third row. Uh, new center consoles, a nice layout. Uh, this is the nine speed transmission, so you get the push button. Uh, transmission, the DA system, and again here you can see here your DA and your um, iMed screen yeah. is all brand new with the speedometer and everything. Yeah, this thing I like a lot, like the new console uh, we like, you got rid of the second screen, which I, I mm -hmm. to be honest, I didn't like a lot. Yeah, yeah, well this one had one screen here on the top yeah. previously, but uh, yeah, we made it a little more clean uh, appearance-wise uh, to the eye, very, again, nice touch points when your hand touches it. So, and in terms of technology, it's like everything it's like up to date i mean like it's so amazing technology yeah. and safety and entertainment and all that right right exactly so this car has uh, tons of technology on laundry list of stuff uh blind spot indicators this uh the display audio screen navigation all the connectivity using the next uh android uh, based uh, audio system uh five usb ports in this particular model and four wow. of them or 2.5 amps, so you could charge up to four iPads and use them at the same time. So a total of five uh, USB. Well, it's pretty amazing when you consider that some uh, 2015 models, some some brands don't have any. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we were we tried to make USB standard on all our Honda truck products a couple years ago. So we've done that, uh, and then now it's just you know, five of them. So. <laughs> so there are different trims, obviously, for for the. Uh, the new pilot but uh starting with the base one i mean like there's standard things now like i think honda has rear view camera for example in every oh, yes. car right uh -huh. so rear view camera and bluetooth is standard uh and pretty much all our vehicles especially all of our honda truck products uh, so you get the lx which is uh, more of an a to b buyer we don't really sell a lot of our base model people step up to the ex or the exls or the touring or this particular model this is brand new for 2016 the elite model so so like this is with everything like but uh so three three trims you said uh actually we have lx ex exl off of uh on exl you can get navi and res and then touring and then touring elite we've added the honda sensing package which is standard on touring and in our elite trim uh, we added the honda sensing as uh essentially a new model code for ex and exl so for customers who want that suite of technologies uh, and what, what does that include in, uh, specifically the on the sensing yeah, package a couple things uh the one which you could probably experience here on this turn is the lane keep assist okay uh, it's got collision mitigation braking uh, a lot of driver convenience packages which makes it uh you know assist the driver in, in their daily commute and so all this i mean like brings all the level of safety like to uh, a, a different thing that there wasn't any any options like that like just a few years ago yeah. i mean it's fascinating how fast it has advanced right uh -huh. exactly with the 2015 crv we introduced it kind of to the mass market the honda sensing so this one really rolls it out to be available for uh, you know basically available for a wide variety of our consumers uh, and this car it's i mean we've been driving driving in here in, in kentucky for like a couple hours already as well. 100 miles that's that's me on the, on the line um, and, and like it's very quiet. I mean, like, how, how did you achieve that? Uh, a lot of things. Uh, this one here, uh, you know, thickness of the glass, the insulation, uh, the acoustic, uh, sorry, the acoustic in the glass, uh, the insulation throughout the doors, throughout the cabin, 
Uh, we heard basically over and over that customers wanted uh, a quieter car, uh, and whether that was coming out of our products or from the products uh, that aren't Hondas that they're driving. So we really focused on quiet cabin. Uh, as you can hear right now, it's very no, it's amazing. Road. Yeah, we're going at 60 miles an hour. <laughs> the road and, and when I'm not st uh, going through the side of the road I mean it's like we're having this normal conversation exactly. without even raising the voice or anything it's yeah. incredible exactly okay uh, so what all the new things are I mean the new setup for the transmission uh -huh. in, the, in this particular case that this is the ninth speed transmission right Correct. yeah so, so this is also new that's all new the push button or sorry the push uh, uh, button transmission uh, even on the base model, then we have a new six-speed automatic. Uh, outgoing model had a five-speed, so uh, about 75% of our mix or so will have a six-speed touring and above. is about a quarter of our mix, give or take, one out of four. Uh, that gets the nine-speed transmission. New engine, Earth Dreams technology, 3.5 liter direct injected engine on, under the hood. 30 more horsepower than the outgoing model. Better fuel economy. So now it's 280? Now it's 280 horsepower? Yeah. Feel free to push the gas. If I know, it's like, like to get it more than I know. Yeah, I just saw a police car back there, so I want to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, for the audience who don't still understand, and maybe even for me, what's the main advantage of having a nine speed transmission? Yeah. Because, like, I mean, like, most people say, like, I'm sick is more than enough. Why do, do people need nine transmissions? Right. Uh, good question. I don't think it's a number essentially that customers are asking for. Uh, customers just want better fuel economy. Oh, okay. And they want better performance. Uh, for example, this one here, um, uh, we increase the fuel economy. We feel we're best in class. Uh, gets up to 27 uh, miles per gallon on the highway. Uh, but also, customers that want to tow. So this car could tow up to 5,000 pounds. Uh, so their customers aren't saying I need more speeds. They just want more fuel economy, more power, and whatnot. And one of the ways to get there, of course, is by adding more speeds and being able to adjust the shift points. And oh, exactly. So I was going to ask that. So like, basically, it's like adjusting the the distribution of the power in like shorter segments sure. for sure yeah to, you're right to say some some to explain it in a way and that makes everything more efficient yeah you see your first gear might be a little bit lower but by the time you get to six seven eight nine <laughs> yeah you're at a higher higher spin rate right so your engine's working less on the flat road Okay, um, and uh, obviously you said three rows, I mean it's three rows, but you have something really special in the middle row in terms of how do you access the third row, that's yeah. also new. Yeah, we have the push button for the second row, so uh, back in the day, um, you know, remember having to crawl in the back of your parents' car or whatnot, you have to pull the <laughs> that seat was an adventure, yeah. So uh, we made it very simple on EXL trims and higher. Uh, we've integrated a push button, so you just basically it's on the side of the door or it's positioned on the back of the seat, uh, the third row. Uh, you push the button, uh, the seat folds forward, slides forward. Uh, we also got about an inch, inch and a half more space getting into yeah. the third row, and then we lowered the floor about an inch, so uh, easier to get in and then more space to crawl through to get back to the third row. Excellent. Well, well, thank you very much for, for the time. We're going to awesome. keep driving the, the car here. I mean, it's there are like so many things that we can keep talking about because like, especially the technology side, I mean, yeah. it's amazing how many things. Oh, one thing that I remember about seats. I mean, like in all the Honda products that, that you uh, have released recently, like so many intelligent things that you got in integrated. Like, for example, this center console, it's something like really amazing because like when you have it closed, like a really nice shell but mm -hmm. then like it's like a lot of functionality and very deep in there so yeah. how many other like uh, improvements in terms of like cargo and, and utility yeah. are in the car uh, one key thing I want to point out is the space behind the third row we added about an inch or so of space uh, it's got a nice cabin uh, kind of cubby hole I guess you could say you could take the floor out add more space to the bottom uh, it'll hold a huge cooler in the back seat with the third row seats up that was one of our development objectives. Obviously, you pointed out the center console uh, for storage and, and utility space like that. Um, yeah, just basically everything ground up on this vehicle we look to improve upon. Well, it's been uh, how many years that you've been working on this car? Uh, on this car, I started about early 2011, so wow. a lot of time has been put into it. But, that's uh, incredible. I mean, that's just normal, though. That's normal product life. Yeah, but most work. people don't know about that. Yeah. I mean, most customers say, like, oh, there's a new car there. Let's go and check it. And they don't really understand all the processes going into that. So, like, I, I mean, uh, at least in my case, I really appreciate, like, to, to get to know all those details. Because, sure. I mean, there's a lot of 
cars are like almost like a miracle because this car is built here in the US, right? Absolutely, in Alabama. But, but it has like a lot of technology that comes from Japan to the new design mm -hmm. studio in, in LA mm -hmm. and like maybe suppliers from uh, around the world and it comes right. together and everything works perfectly. So yeah. it's amazing how this complicated process mm -hmm. of making a car yeah. can come together. So that's yeah. your job and uh, you, you do it really well. So wow, thank you so much. Glad to be here. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to the Kentucky Speedway uh, to do some other testing. So thank you very much, James. All right, buddy. Take it easy. Thank you.